Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Craig's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a treat. This is uh, Yazoo, Yazoo Brewing Company. They're out of Nashville, Tennessee. This is their Hot Project IPA. Uh, and it says here, it looks like it's Series 84. It looks like. I can see the 8 real well, but the next letter is kind of smudged off. And it says bottled on date 722. 2015. 84 is the latest edition that Beer Advocate and Rank Beer have, so I'm pretty sure this is probably the last one, the number 84. And it says, uh, like I said, bottled on date of 7, 22 of 15. So it's just a just a tad over a month old. So it uh, should be pretty tasty. And I've done a couple of the Yazoo beers that people have sent to me, and uh, or either I picked up somewhere along the line during my travels and Steve sent this one to me so thanks a bunch Steve for sending me some of these Yazoo uh, brewing beers uh, I'm looking forward to this uh, they really they do some pretty good stuff usually so uh, hoping this is not going to be a disappointment uh, this is a I don't know if it has it on the label I don't think it does According to uh, Rake Beer, it's a 5.7 percenter, and Beer Advocate has the same thing. Neither one of them have any scores. Evidently, it's a brand new batch, and nobody has reviewed it. So, uh, there's not a single review on either site for this beer. So, I guess I'm on my own for this one. Uh, commercial description says bottle info 847L15, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. And the food pairings for this beer is going to be your typical IPA. Cuisine is curried in your tithes. Cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, your more pungent cheeses. And the meat for this is uh, poultry, fish, shellfish, salmon, and grilled meat. Glassware, pint, back or not, Cumberstein, mugs, side ale. I'm going to use my favorite glass here. Solid beer glass. And not recommended for extended salary. So, looking forward to having a great IPA. We've been kind of lackluster the last couple of days so hopefully this is going to be nice and juicy and a hot bomb if you will Dang. kind of aggressive down the center we got us a nice head on that pour uh, about a finger of head on there over to the light a nice I don't want to say golden, it's a little little darker than a, a typical golden lager would be, but not much. It's fairly light, light colored. Almost to the tangerine color, and I can see the ball right through it, a lot of bubbles streaming up. Good looking beer in the glass, don't you think? Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah. It's citrusy, it's piney. Grapefruit. Pineapple. Oh yeah, I can't wait to dive into this. Oh wow, got a wonderful aroma. Oh yeah, that smells like an IPA, guys. That really does. Mmm. Ah, makes my mouth water to smell a good beer. It's that time. Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Steve. Thank you, brother. Mmm. Big bitterness on the back end. Definitely would think this is in the 70s as far as IBUs.
pine, grapefruit, pineapple, tangerine, oranges, maybe some hints of some chocolate fruits, maybe some pears or apricots. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. I don't have the IBUs listed on either side here. But if I was guessing, I would say it's in the 70s. Very nice bitterness on the back end. You hop heads and IPA lovers will probably like this. Very tasty. Wow. I'm going to have to sip it again. That is very nice. That is very pleasant. Not getting any of the alcohol. Very well made. Definitely has a strong bitterness on the back end. Might even be up in the 80s. Very strong bitterness on the back end. Definitely tell you're drinking an IPA with this one, guys. Oh, yeah. Well, it's right out of the fridge. Let me take it back and let her have a sip of two or three and sip on it for a little bit and see where this one ends up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left here. Very enjoyable beer. Very nice beer. I do think this is an A beer, guys. Uh, got the date on the label there. I can't read the batch number. <laughs> but judging by the date, though, I think this is 84, which is the last one they did. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. Not very nice bitterness on the back end to match up with the, with the sweetness of the malt and the hot profile up front. Very pleasant beer. Very enjoyable beer. If I, could, if I could get my hands on these beers here in Virginia, I would buy these beers. I would. Uh, it is a very tasty beer. I do think it's an A beer, like I said. I'm going to give this an 8, which is an A minus. I would like to see them put the IBUs on the label so we'll know. It's not listed on any other websites, but I would like to just to have that information so we'll know uh, what the bitterness is on this beer. Just information that I'd like to have. Uh, you know. uh, but they got the date, and, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's the batch number listed there. Can't, can't make out the four, but I'm pretty sure it is with the... Uh, with the date that's on there. So this beer is just barely over a month old. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. So Steve, appreciate it, brother. Very nice beer. Uh, I'm sure you enjoy these beers uh, very regularly, and I would too if I could get my hands on them. Final chug. Very nice slicing left on the glass. Nice citrusiness in there, giving the pine and the grapefruit, especially the grapefruit. Some pineapple, maybe some tropical fruit notes, like I said. Uh, apricots, maybe a little mango, pears, lighter fruits. Very tasty, very nice hot bitterness on the back end. Very nice beer, very, very nice beer. Uh, for 5.7%, fairly easy drinking, less than 6%. You could have several of these and go back to what you were doing, cutting the grass or, or working out in the yard and stuff. Very nice. Uh, all the hop heads that can get their hands on this beer, they would enjoy this beer. It is very pleasant. So, uh, Eight for me, A minus. Uh, neither uh, Ray Beer or Beer Advocate have any reviews on this beer, which leads me to think that this is their freshest batch, their newest batch, and nobody's done a review on it yet. So I guess I'm the first one. It's an A beer, guys. Uh, eight for me, A minus. So, uh, other than having the IBUs on the label somewhere, very tasty beer. Got all the information you need other than that on the label. So, very well done. Very well done. So, uh, I'm glad that uh, he sent me several uh, of the ASU uh, beers, I think. And uh, we're going to uh, do them here for too long, get them uh, out of the way. But I wanted to do this IPA and do that as fresh as I could. So, uh, very tasty. So thanks, Steve. I do appreciate it. And if you've had this one from Yazoo uh, Brewing, and they're out of Nashville, Tennessee. Very tasty beer. All you hop heads out there, this is a good one. If you haven't tried it, pick it up. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Hey, come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Let's see this.